Greetings, welcome to this video log. I've not done for a while and I'm going to do quite a few more um, video logs. Now I thought I'd do this video log in the manner of those TV programs where they keep saying what's coming up and what's coming already happened. So coming up in today's video log, find out about my new show, Paul Foot's Hovercraft Symphony in Gamma Shot Major. Find out about the cottage in which I'm living. Find out uh, what I think about hen parties, and we have the result of the recent snow dome competition. So, we start with me telling you about my new show, The Hovercraft Symphony. Some of you are probably coming in the autumn when I'm taking it uh, when I run the country. When I say the autumn, I mean the UK autumn, and I will of course be bringing it to the, the people of Australia in their autumn, in about March and April. And uh, basically, I'm learning parts of the show out of this book. I've got it all noted down, you see. And uh, it's taken quite a long time to learn it, which is why uh, I'm staying in this idyllic cottage. It has, you can see it's all idyllic in this uh, spiral staircase. And out there, I have, I call it my garden, but it's a big field. It takes uh, 22 minutes to walk around the field. I've calculated that the perimeter of my garden is the same as walking from one end of Adelaide to the other. And it's that yesterday there was a bat that was a, like a proper bat, you know, with wings, that was on my sofa. It was rather frightening. But anyway, it's gone now. Uh, and I was thinking, actually, why is it that the word bat, which is uh, like a, you know, like one of those animals, why is it the same as the word for a cricket bat? Why is that the same? Could they not have thought of two different words? Anyway, that was just a thought. I just want to point out that the show, I am learning this, but it's not, uh, I'm not learning it like an actor, uh, like, you know, like an actor just learning lines by rote or something. I'm learning sort of ideas and things that will be taken into the show, which itself is a springboard for improvisation and spontaneity just in case people thought that I was just learning it like, in, like some sort of tragic sort of going on and just reciting it night after night. It's not like that, but it's part of my artistic process is to learn these ideas. Now what are the... Oh, uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that it's a very nice cottage where I'm staying and it has a dishwasher and well, I'm having real motivational problems with loading up the dishwasher and then unloading it. I just can't be bothered to do either. So, has anyone got any suggestions? I, mean, I don't know what to do. I'm a very focused person. I enjoy my creative work. I enjoy my career. My career is my hobby. I'm very motivated, but I just can't get the motivation to load up the dishwasher and unload it. I just find it so dull. Has anyone got any suggestions? Uh, also, uh, so now we'll have a summary. Uh, so, in the programme already, we've uh, learnt about the Paul Foots Hovecraft Symphony uh, and we've learnt about the cottage in which Paul's staying. Uh, coming up, uh, what about what does Paul think of hen parties and also the results of the competition? Oh, yes, so I wanted to. Oh, before I say about the hen party, I wanted to say, because I've got 26 acres of land out there. But you know when you read it and it always says in like descriptions, uh, like of a house, you think of buy a house it says you've got two acres of land. But no one actually knows what an acre is, do they? Everyone just guesses. No one actually knows. Like if that wasn't 26 acres, it was actually 260 acres, I wouldn't know. No one knows what an acre is. No one has any idea. No one. Now, uh, hen, but all I wanted to say was, well, you know how you get hen parties, and sometimes they go to comedy shows and they just sort of like uh, shout all stupid things and everything, and it's sort of like, oh yeah, let's go and see a comedian, but we mainly just want to drink wine and have uh, like chicken nuggets and stuff. Well, recently we had a hen party who came to one of my Paul Foot secret shows, one of my connoisseurs' shows. But it was not like your ordinary hen party. I loved it. It was like 
a very refined hen party who specifically wanted to come to the Paul Foot show to like see me improvising bizarre ideas for ages whilst I kind of drank Chardonnay but just really concentrating on the ideas. It was very different to your ordinary hen party. So anyway, that was all I wanted to say really. It was just great. I love things like that. I love it like there's another time when someone came along for his 40th birthday party to the secret show and very sort of really concentrating on the show. Not like your ordinary birthday party, like, yes, yeah, just get a pitcher of ale and everyone just get really drunk. What, is a comedian on stage, is there? Yeah, get off, mate. We're having a party. We're having a conversation. The opposite of that, which is what I had to endure in the early stages of my career for years. So that's more or less it, really. Time for a quick recap. Uh, so far, we've had uh, Paul for talking about the Hovercraft Symphony. We've had uh, uh, talk about the cottage and do people really know what the size of an acre is and Paul's take on uh, hen party. Uh, coming up, it's the result of the Pulford competition. So now it's the result of the Pulford competition. Well, uh, there's been the, the snow domes and there was the other things, and then it all ended with the, uh, well, there was the foot world and foot limbs, and a lot of you have expressed your opinions, and I, um, I really struggled to come up with a winner, it was not easy, uh, but after much deliberation, uh, I'd just like to say that the standard of entries throughout all uh, uh, the rounds of the competition is exceptionally high, and I'd just like to say that everyone who's entered is a winner, you're all winners, but the, there can only be one winner, and the winner is Foot World, um, so the um, person who designed Foot World uh, you have won a prize, which is two free tickets to one of my shows when I go on tour uh, in the UK autumn performing Paul Foot's Hovercraft Symphony in Gamshut Major. Unless, of course, you want to come in Australia, in which you can go in the Australian autumn to one of the shows. So that is the uh, result. And now it's the end of the podcast. Uh, it's time for a quick recap of what you saw in the podcast. Today in the podcast, you saw... Uh, not podcast, it's a video log, I got confused. Uh, um, you saw uh, the Paul Furs and the Simon and the Cottage and the uh, Hemp Party and the results of the competition. See you next time on the video log.